Hello everyone and welcome to this eCognition Deconstructed video. Today we're gonna have a look at random things, more or less how to calculate a random number within eCognition. That's an algorithm that's called Calculate Random Number and what it does, it writes a random number into a variable, right? So within the algorithm you can define the variable that you want to update with a random value. Um, if you haven't created a variable yet, you can create it within that process as well. So you simply enter name in the value field and then you can create a variable in the up popping variable dialog box, right? Enter the name of the variable and also the variable type. That's important, you have two different types or three different types, also a map variable, but I'm gonna focus on scene variable and object variable because those are probably the ones that are most widely used. So again, remember that a scene variable has only one value for the whole scene. So each object has the same value because it's one scene variable. Um, the other type is object variable, that's what we're gonna use. And if you choose object variable, each object has a different value. So each object gets a different random value. If you say, if you choose a scene variable as output for this random value calculation, you're gonna get one value for the whole scene. So that's important. The calculated value is a value between zero and one and has seven decimals. Okay, let's have a look at the project. So how could you use a random value within your project? Um, one example would be to split your sample data set. This one, for example, for water. So I have 100 samples of water that I've selected and I wanna split it into calibration data set and validation data set. And you could use a random number to randomly select 80% for example of for calibration and 20% for validation. That's exactly what I'm doing here. So I wanna split my class, 100 objects, samples as water that I've selected. And first I'm gonna use calculate random number only for my water samples. And I'm gonna write it into this variable here. When you open the algorithm, actually that field's gonna be empty, so I'm quickly gonna show you how that looks like. Um, so if you append a new process and choose this algorithm, you see this field is empty. You simply can type something in there and then this create variable window pops up where you can choose a value for that variable, so default value, and which type it should be. Again, in our case, I chose uh, object variable so we get one so each object has a different value calculated for it so different random value and again just for these 100 objects that are classified as water samples I'm gonna run this and now when I click onto an object you see on the right hand side in the image object information window um, this object feature variable random and has zero values for the unclassified ones and all water sample objects now have a different value here in this feature. That's a random value, that's exactly what I want to have. Now to split the feature space to 80% calibration and 20% validation data, I'm using a compute statistical value algorithm. I'm gonna write the 80% quantile value into this scene variable. So I'm using quantiles 80. So the value that I'm gonna get here, gonna split my feature space into 80 and 20. So 80 objects will be below this threshold and 20 of those gonna be above. So 80% below and we have 100 objects, so 80 objects. And you see here, that's a scene feature. So if I click on two different objects, it's gonna stay the same. That's 80% quantile of my distribution of the variable object variable that I calculated this random one. And now I simply classify. I use a sign class and say, all right, if 
this variable that I created, the random one is lower than the 80% quantile, put it into the class calibration. And I simply gonna turn that around, say everything above that gonna be put into the class validation. And now I've randomly selected calibration and validation data, uh, which is what you should do. All right, that was calculate random numbers within eCognition and one use case, how you can use it. Thank you very much for watching. Have a good day. See ya.